Welcome back to 123 Read. I'm Mrs. Farkas and we're going to start by singing our hello song. It's called Bread and Butter, Marmalade and Jam. Are you ready? It goes like this. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Can you say it really quiet in a whisper? Hello. Good job. All right, so what's the opposite of quiet? The opposite of quiet is loud, right? So let's say it's loud, ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Ready? Shout it out. Hello. Good job. Okay, so now let's say it as slow as we can. So we're going to stretch it out really slow like a little sloth, okay? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. All right, so what's the opposite of slow? The opposite of slow is fast, right? So we're gonna say it really fast, ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello, good job. Can you do it fast like a cheetah? Hello, hi. <laughs> okay, so now let's try to say it in a really high pitched voice. Can you talk like Mickey Mouse? Hello, let's do it that way, ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs> now, what's the opposite of high? The opposite of high is low. So we're saying a really deep voice, really low. Ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Ready? Hello. <laughs> All right. Now, let's just say it as nice as we can. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as nice as we can. Hello, good job. So today we're gonna to read stories about, and it's an animal, I guess, it's more of an insect, but it's something that you might see around in the summertime. They're usually black and yellow. They buzz, they go from flower to flower to pollinate flowers, they make honey. Do you know what I'm talking about? That's right, it's bees. We're gonna read stories about bees today. And what letter does the word B start with? It makes the B, B sound. You know what letter that is? It's the actual, the name of it. It's the letter, the letter B starts the word B. You spell the word B, B, E, E, but it starts with the letter B. So B makes the B sound. Can you think of any other words that start with the letter B that make the B, B sound? Hmm, let's think, let's see, there's something that we play a sport with. We might kick it, we might throw it, we might hit it with another thing that starts with a B. Do you know what that is? It's a ball, right? A ball, the word ball starts with B, 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 ball. Now, what was the sport I was talking about where we might hit it with something? You know what that's called? Where you have a person that stands up on a base and then they have a ball pitched to them that's a bat. Yeah, a bat. And the game is baseball, which starts with the letter B too. So ball and bat. Can you think of anything else that starts with the letter B? Let's think here. How about some, some of you might have a little brother or sister and they might be real small and you might cradle them like this. What is that called? If you have to cradle them, you change their diapers. <laughs> That's a baby, right? So baby starts with B, 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 baby. So our other words were ball and bat and baby. So those are three good words that start with the letter B. So now let's sing our Zoom, Zoom, Zoom song before we read our first book. All right, let's sing Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. So you put your arms up like this and it goes, Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you'd like to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, and then we Good job, rocket ships. Please Please the Bees by Gerald Kelly. Benedict was a creature of habit. 
He liked to do the same thing every day. Every morning he woke up at the same time. Every morning he stretched, he scratched, he yawned a great yawn. Every morning the bees delivered three jars full of honey. Benedict ate the same breakfast he'd eaten since he was just a fuzzy cub. Toast with honey and tea with extra honey. He really likes honey, doesn't he? Next came his daily routine. Practicing, perfecting his honey cake recipe, knitting, look what his sweater says. It says honey with a heart wrapped around it. And running errands. At night he'd read or he'd read, then have one last cup of honey tea before bed. Life was sweet. Until one morning, things weren't the same. In fact, something terribly unsane had happened. What is it? What are those? They're empty jars. Uh -oh. There was no more honey. The bees had gone on strike. See, the little bees has a, si a sign that says on strike. That means they're not gonna work and make the honey anymore. Uh-oh. Benedict's breakfast wasn't the same without honey. Without his honey tea, he couldn't knit. Practice was dreadful. He didn't even bother with the errands. Benedict became deeply discouraged. Just then he heard someone say, hey you, in the fur coat. He was a very small bee with a remarkably loud voice. We need to talk, said the bee. Talk, hm, grumbled Benedict. I let you all live in my yard. All I ask for is a few jars of honey. You should be grateful, not go on strike. And the bee says, a few jars, said the bee. Buddy, we deliver three jars of honey to you every day, every month, every year. Do the math, Einstein. The hive is all a wreck, the bee continued. It's all we can do to keep the walls from falling in. The roof leaks, the wind, or wind blows through the cracks. The last three queens up and quit on us because of lousy working conditions. The sign says, I'm gone. Q, queen. The bee showed Benedict the garden. Look, the bee said, weeds everywhere. We have to fly miles away just to find enough flowers to make our honey. So we voted to strike. You're taking us for granted, the bee declared. You want honey? Things need to change. It's up to you, bear. And with that, the very small bee flew off. The thought of losing his honey sent a chill down Benedict's spine. He had a lot to think about. Maybe I've been too selfish, Benedict said to himself. I never thought about what the bees need, but how am I gonna make this right? So he did some research. He did a little shopping. What's it look like he's doing? Maybe buying some flowers, some plants. Oh, there he is. He's cutting the plants. Oh, he built them a new bee house. And then he's planting flowers. And he did a lot of work. He's cutting the weeds and the grass. Benedict even learned how to harvest honey. I suppose it's a bit rude to expect them to do it all themselves, he thought. Finally, he was ready to show the bees all the work he'd done. What would they think? He held his breath as he waited. Then he heard the remarkably loud voice of the very small bee. Drop the signs, girls. Time to get back to work. So they must have liked all of his changes, right? These days, Benedict is still a creature of habit. He still has his daily routine, but he doesn't take the honey for granted anymore. He knows his life is sweet, but now it's even sweeter for everyone. So look at all the pretty flowers in the nice beehive, bee house. 
that's the end of please please the bees all right now we're going to do a little action rhyme called bumblebee bumblebee and i've got a little friend here that i want to help do this rhyme with let me grab him here i got my own little bee so let's see so this is our little bee so we're going to pretend like we're a bee so everybody stand up and then what we're going to do is we're going to go bumblebee bumblebee buzzing all around you can buzz around turn around buzz around okay and then you go Bumblebee, bumblebee on the ground. Go down and touch the ground with your bee hand or your bee. Pretend you're the bee. Now I say, bumblebee, bumblebee up so high. Reach up high, reach up high. Bumblebee, bumblebee buzzing in the sky. I'm telling you, bee buzzing in the sky. Good job. Bumblebee, bumblebee buzzing past your toes. Go to your toes, your toes, your toes. Bumblebee, bumblebee buzzing on your nose. Go and touch your nose. Good job. So that's our little bumblebee rhyme. You wanna try it again? Bumblebee, bumblebee buzzing all around, buzzing all around, turn around, turn around. Bumblebee, bumblebee buzzing on the ground, touch the ground. Then we'll say, bumblebee, bumblebee buzzing in the sky, or up so high, up so high, reach up high. Bumblebee, bumblebee buzzing in the sky. So buzz your bumblebees in the sky. Bumblebee, bumblebee buzzing past your toes, reach your toes. And bumblebee, bumblebee buzzing on your nose, touch your nose. Good job. This is a story called Six Little Bumblebees. Six little bumblebees sitting on a hive. One flew away. And then there were five. One, two, three, four, five. Bumblebee, bumblebee, fly away. Bumblebee, bumblebee, happy all day. Five little bumblebees sitting on the floor. One flew away and then there were four. One, two, three, four. Bumblebee, bumblebee, fly away. Bumblebee, bumblebee, happy all day. Four little bumblebees sitting in the tree. One flew away and then there were Three, bumblebee, bumblebee, fly away. Bumblebee, bumblebee, happy, happy all day. Three little bumblebees looking at you. One flew away, and then there were two. One, two. Bumblebee, bumblebee, fly away. Bumblebee, bumblebee, happy all day. Two little bumblebees sitting in the sun. One flew away, and then there was one. There's one. One bumblebee, bumblebee, fly away. Bumblebee, bumblebee, happy all day. One little bumblebee left all alone. He flew away safe to his home. And how many are left? Zero. Good job. Let's do our second story song called Put Your Hands Up High. Ready? Goes like this. Put your hands up high. Put your hands down low. Put your hands in the middle and wiggle just so. Put your elbows in the front, put your elbows in the back. Put your elbows to the side and quack, quack, quack. Good job. The Very Greedy Bee by Steve Smallman, illustrated by Jack Tickle. In a busy, buzzy beehive lived a very greedy bee. All the other bees worked hard making honey and cleaning the hive, but the greedy bee spent all day gobbling pollen and guzzling nectar. Slurp, slurp, burp. Slurp, slurp, burp. The greedy bee wouldn't share his nectar with anyone. He wouldn't even let a tired ladybug sit on his flower. Find your own flower, he shouted. This one is mine, mine, she says, eek. And when one day the greedy bee found a meadow full of the biggest, juiciest flowers he had ever seen, he decided not to tell anyone. Yummy, he buzzed. Lots and lots of flowers and they're all for me, wow. Those big flowers, huh? The greedy bee whizzed and bizzed from flower to flower slurping and burping and growing fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter. 
At last, his tummy was full and he settled down on a big pink flower in the warm yellow sunshine and he fell fast asleep. When the greedy bee woke up, it was dark. He tried to fly, but his tummy was so roly and poly that biff, bang, thump, he went down instead of up and crashed to the ground. I'm scared, cried the greedy bee, and I don't know how to get home. Then he saw two glowing eyes in the long grass. Eek, he cried, a monster is coming to eat me. But it wasn't a monster. It was two friendly fireflies, their bottoms glowing in the dark. What's wrong, they asked. I'm too full to fly, wailed the greedy, greedy bee, and I can't walk home in the dark. Follow us, said the fireflies, and they all set off on the long, long journey home. Through the forest of flowers and squishy mud, over the hills and under the stars trudged the greedy bee. He had never walked so far and he was very tired. Nearly there, called the fireflies. Then they heard the whoosh of rushing water. I'm almost home, cried the greedy bee excitedly. It's the stream. And it was, but his hive was on the other side of it. Oh no, said the greedy bee, sadly flopping down in the grass. How will I ever get across? We'll help you, said a tiny ant with a big leaf. The ant and his friends flipped the big leaf into the water. Jump on, they cried. Helped by the fireflies, the greedy bee and the ants made their way, splishing and splashing to the other side of the stream. Hooray, I'm home, cheered the greedy bee. Where have you been? asked the other bees. I've overslurped, said the greedy bee. I would never have made it home if my new friends hadn't been so kind. Now I'm going to share my best honey with them. Would you like some too? Yes, said the other bees. Let's have a party. Everyone enjoyed a midnight feast of yummy, runny honey. All except for one very sleepy, very happy, but not so greedy bee. So he learned to share after all, huh? He decided not to be so greedy. And that's the end of The Very Greedy Bee by Steve Smallman. Okay, now we're going to do a little story up here on the board. It's called Here is the Beehive. So here's how it goes. Here is the beehive. Where are the bees? Hidden away where no one sees. Soon they come creeping out of the hive. Ready? Let's see. One, two, three, four, and five. Bzz, 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 bzz. So that's where, it, or here is the beehive. Now we're gonna do a little story called The Five Bees. One little bee flew and flew. He met a friend and that made two. Two little bees busy as could be. Along came another and that made three. Three little bees wanted one more. Found one soon and that made four. Four little bees going to the hive. There's their hive. Spied their little brother and that made five. Five little bees working every hour. Busy away bees and find a, oops, find a flower. There's a flower. And that's the end of five bees. Let's do the banana song. So everybody stand up tall, and then we're gonna put your arms up like this, and then we peel bananas. Peel, peel bananas. Peel bananas. Peel, peel bananas. Then we chop bananas. Chop, chop bananas. Chop 
bananas, chop, chop, bananas. Then we mash, bananas, mash, mash, bananas, mash, bananas, mash, mash, bananas. Then we eat bananas, eat, eat, bananas, eat, bananas, eat, eat, bananas. Then we get down low and we go bananas. <laughs> the Honeybee and the Robber, a moving picture book by Eric Carle. So see, here's what it does. Look at his face there. Oh, look at that, his eyes and the bee moves. Yeah, so it's got some moving pieces in here. Oops. The Honeybee and the Robber, a moving picture book by Eric Carle. There it is. Let's see. In a hive and a... Inside an old hollow tree, there lived a honeybee. With her lived many, many other bees. One warm, warm, warm morning, she flew out of the hive, saying, Let's go gather nectar to make honey. Follow me. See her wings moving? Yeah. Flowers opened their petals to welcome the honeybee. She sipped nectar from the flowers. The honeybee flew from flower to flower, gathering nectar. The hungry bird swooped down to catch her, but the honeybee was much too quick for it. Good. She got away, huh? Then the honeybee flew to a pond for a drink of water. A hungry fish and a hungry frog both tried to catch her, but the honeybee was too quick for them too. A butterfly fluttered by. Let's play, it said. See the butterfly? The bees and the butterfly danced in the sky for a while. Then, it's time to go home now, said the honeybee. With the nectar, she flew back into the busy hive. Where did you find all this nectar? Asked the bees inside. Watch me and I'll show you, said the honeybee, dancing and pointing to where the flowers were. She crawled past the queen bee and stopped to watch, let's see, stopped to watch the a baby bee as it hatched from its cell. Suddenly she heard a terrible noise. Grr, grr, it must be a robber, cried the honeybee. It was a bear. He was trying to get in and steal their honey. Grr, grr, he growled as he scratched at the tree. There he is, look at the bear. He's trying to get in. Out flew the little honeybee and stung the big bear on the nose. Ouch, yelled the bear. And ouch, ouch. He howled as more bees rushed out. The bear ran away as fast as he could. All the honeybees were safe again. In the hive, in the old hollow tree, all was quiet. It was time to rest. Tomorrow would be another busy day. And that's the end of The Honeybee and the Robber. Time to say our goodbye. We say our goodbyes like this. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss. <sniffs> Jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon. And then out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear. Wave goodbye, butterfly. We say toodaloo, kangaroo. Adios, hippos. Better shake, rattlesnake. Gotta go, buffalo. Be sweet, parakeet. Got a truck, baby duck. Adieu, cockatoo. Gotta scat, kitty cat. Hit the trail, tiny snail. And then gonna scram, little lamb. Can't stay, blue jay. Have to bail, big blue whale. And bye for now, big brown cow. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.